能做。Sideways. 做中国的女生还是很幸福的，可以去旅行，可以去创业。而在哈萨克斯坦，女性的压力还是比较大的。If the girl doesn't accept and she comes back home, even on the phone when when girl tells to your parents that she is kidnapped, then they will say, "Okay, be happy." That's all. Be happy. Say, yeah. <laughs> what if that guy? Is, what if that guy is a criminal? Oh, she's spoiled. No, now they will not marry. In college, you have to pay money to get higher marks. Yeah. Even to enter. University. And, yeah, it's the same. For example, for four B, then you have to give four thousand. If you want five, you have to give six thousand money. You have to give in a university. Just in Uzbekistan, actually, it happens less, but mostly it's not in education area. In, in government, I mean, when you want to get job, something you have to offer some money and then get this job. Also, for example, if they catch you for something illegal and you give money, then you are legal. Most of them, they come work in Russia, in Kazakhstan, they earn money and send family. Send the family in Uzbekistan. Yeah. Actually, they don't like that. The Uzbeks are coming and working. They say that they're taking our money. They are stealing our money. Yeah, they always say yeah. this about immigrants everywhere in the world. I I went to Uzbekistan. Uh, I feel like everybody is so oppressed. You can't really think much. You can't talk much, and you don't earn a lot of money. I think in this life it's much happier because when you don't know anything, <laughs> <laughs> it's more peaceful. Really, yeah, I mean that's you're. True. But mind in peace, your heart in peace. You don't know a lot of things, and it's it's, it's really very. But here, how is? But here, you know, everything is uh, in front of your eyes. Everything happening, and yeah. you have to be careful. Depressed, tension. 走得越远，越是珍惜自己的平凡生活。我们的小确幸，很多时候是别人的大幸福。